all of the pieces now for steps 27 and 28. I think there's around 40 of them all together. They're all glued into place and as I said two or three times before, you just can't see where they are unless you know where to look. Now there's one piece that I didn't glue on and that's this piece right here that goes on the stern over what I thought was a hose pipe but I'm realizing now it probably wasn't. Now I'm not going to glue this in place because what's going to happen is I'm going to end up breaking it off. So this is going to be another piece that we're going to leave until almost the very end just before we put the ship in the case. Um, now, okay I've got a I've got a little pin here. I don't know if you can see it from way back there but there's a bit of a hook on it. I think I made this up years ago. I had to use, I needed a little hook way down, down the workshop way back ago oh, when I was working on pens or something. Anyway, um, when I was putting the ladder on here, it's, it's actually this one right here, I, I accidentally pushed this too far in and I'm thinking if I can just get in there and very gently pull it out. I'll reposition the camera. Everything, everything's in the way here. Now speaking of camera, I do not want to get into uh, what I was uh, like yesterday where I spent just so much time um, messing around with the camera and I got very little work done, at least for, for what I wanted to do on the hood. Uh, I want to try and get this uh, done. I want to get, it, get on the Rodney by spring. And like I keep saying, if I keep videoing, I'm not going to be able to do it. Now the problem is, I really enjoy the videoing. Um, well, I'm noticing that it's a little bit crooked here. Well, we'll, we'll look at that when I... I'll put the macro lens in, we'll, on and we'll zoom right in. As I'm sitting here in front of my computer right now, getting episode 621 started, I notice up in my surveillance monitor the uh, mailman coming to my door. And I'm thinking, could this possibly be the brass black already? Uh, according to the uh, Canada Post website, they didn't say anything about it being out for delivery today. But hey, mistakes in my favor? I'm not going to be getting myself all bent out of shape over it. Now I know I just said we'll stick on the macro lens and have a close look here. But you know I've also said life is what happens to you while you're making other plans. So, and this is the stuff that I had wanted to buy way back when we were working on the Bismarck. I'm thinking maybe I should uh, put on a pair of rubber gloves when I'm working with this. I was uh, looking at the description and it says something about it can be harmful to your skin and it's poisonous and all that kind of stuff. So I think we'll prepare uh, to, to uh, do the brass chain which is uh, over here so uh, yeah we'll do the brass chain today if, and, and see what happened but but first of all let's see if we can fix that railing now because of the perspective going on here this looks worse than it really is try and maybe I should grab hold of this differently all right there I want to pull this back I just want to do as much straightening as I can before I go all over the place with my little paintbrush um, yeah that's, that's not too bad there this this one rail looks a little bit, a little bit bent. Oh, I think I made it worse. I was going to shove it back just a little bit here. Maybe I'll use this one here. Start a 
lift up on it a little bit. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Well, I probably didn't change it. I just bent it differently. It's, it, it doesn't look too bad from my perspective. Okay. All right, let's see if we can blacken our chain. Now, if you will recall, we had a little short piece here. I think there's just four links, five links maybe. And um, let's just see what happens to this one first. And then we can just sort of lay it alongside and see the difference. Um, as far as I know, everything is still pristine. I haven't been touching it with my fingers to get it, you know, greasy or anything like that. So let me get the rubber gloves on here. Now, yesterday I got an email from our friend Tony, and he was mentioning that he had some chain, but he wasn't sure exactly what size my chain was, and so I took a picture of it yesterday and uh, sent him the dimensions, and I thought possibly some of the other viewers might like to see it as well. This is the size of the chain we're working with here. Yeah, thanks, Tony. Now, this brass wire I've been touching with my fingers, but the chain I haven't. The plan is I want to just dip it down into the brass black and I don't think I'll be contaminating the bottle by doing that. It does say to, you know, to swab, swab it on to whatever it is you want to blacken. Um, okay, trying to do this on camera now, I'm probably going to end up spilling it. I, I've shaken this, by the way. Hmm, I can see where that's going to work. I wonder... Would this maybe tear off or not? No, okay. Alright, it's, uh, it's kind of clear. In fact, I'm looking down into the bottle right now and it's, uh, I think I'll just throw this in the garbage. Okay, very carefully now. I don't want to be making any sudden moves. It appears to have the consistency of water. Now what am I going to set this on afterwards? We'll put the macro lens on after. It says to leave it for a minute uh, and then rinse it off with cold water. Well, this time of year, cold water is no problem. Okay. I wonder if maybe I was supposed to just leave it, leave it in there. Okay, let's just wait a minute. Now the reason I've got my pin there is because I know that that's where the camera is looking. Okay, we should be able to compare. That's uh, the first application. According to the brass black people, they, they say you can do it again to get a stronger result. I don't think you, they used the word stronger, but... Um, yeah, it, it even blackened the wire. Then I thought that possibly it wouldn't because my fingerprints were on it. Uh, yeah, that stuff really works. I don't know if I'm going to... Uh, do this chain twice, or uh, if once, once will be enough. So the brass black really works. My coffee is gone. Yeah, where did the day go? I didn't show you nothing. I'm going to be uh, 
going around the rest of the uh, deck later with my little tiny paintbrush and touch up places that need touching up. And uh, I'm going to blacken this chain. Oh, I, I, I failed to mention that afterwards I did rinse this off under uh, cold running water. Um, but I haven't rubbed it to see if any black comes off. I, I imagine that if it's if it works on, a, on an oxidation process, if I was to rub on it, some of the black would come off. And if I rubbed on it a lot, I'd probably get right back down to the, uh, to the brass again. Now that is my uneducated guess. Uh, I'm not even going to try it. I don't really care if it does or it doesn't. All I know is it's, it's going to blacken our anchor chain. And, and that's the main thing. Uh, in the meantime, folks, uh, thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow, and maybe I'll have a black chain to show you.